have to say, the cabin feels absolutely pristine. It is really clean, it feels very fresh. These seats look pretty damn good for low cost, definitely not the usual low cost that I'm used to. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was in business when they ushered me into this section of the plane, but it's premium. Good morning from Gatwick Airport. Today I'm here at Gatwick South Terminal and I'm going to be flying from here to New York with the new low-cost carrier North Atlantic Airways. But as you can probably tell, I don't have my usual partner in crime, Nikki, with me. So I'm going to need a bit of extra help. It's Maz! Ah, Liam, you're so good at that. I'm getting better, aren't I? So if you've seen our CPG Arrivals channel, you might know Maz from our London three budget comparison. But Maz, it's great to have you back in another video. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. So why don't you tell everyone how you're going to be flying today? I will be flying premium economy. Which means I'm going to be in economy, which, you know what, I can't believe Nikki's not here and I'm still getting the cheaper seat. But it's a new airline, it's still going to be fun and we should probably go and check in. Yeah, we should go. Let's we do should it. go. So here we are at Gatwick Airport. Now I've actually got really fond memories of Gatwick because I grew up only about 10 minutes from here. So whenever I'd be going on holiday with my family to Spain or France, we would always fly from Gatwick. I'm obviously more of a heat profile these days, but nice to be here shooting a video and hoping for a really good experience with Norse. I'm back. So excited to be back with the Points Guy. The last time I was with you guys was back in April where you treated me to a luxury day out in London. So I'm really excited to see how this day will compare on premium economy with Norse. No priority check-in for me today, but looking at the Norse check-in area, it's pretty quiet, definitely. It's not taking too long to drop my bag off. So I'm standing in front of the Norse check-in desk, and instantly I can say it's really relaxed, very tranquil. I can already tell this is going to be a really smooth check-in. Thank you. <laughs> Well, there you go, super speedy check-in. Took a matter of minutes and I was checked in in no time at all. What I would say is that they are gonna be strict with your bags. So even with your carry-on, they're probably gonna check the weight, check their meets, the size requirement. So don't break any rules, or you probably will get charged. So I have my boarding pass and just as I suspected, that check-in was so easy. There was no one in front of me, so I was seen instantly. And I was checked in in about two, three minutes. So all very seamless, Norse. Well, it's quite busy here, but not crazy. There's lots going on. There's a number of shops, cafes, and I think it's time to go and buy myself a coffee and a bit of breakfast while Maz enjoys the lounge. So I've just come out of security, and I have to say that was really seamless. I was right through within a few minutes. However, I'm not gonna lie. I find Gatwick Airport a little bit chaotic in terms of its layout. So I've decided to pay a visit to number one lounges to just rest, decompress before the flight. So I've just arrived at number one lounges and I have to say it is absolutely rammed in here. As you can see, I'm not even sitting at my table, I'm standing because there are just no seats. As for food, I have decided to go for scrambled eggs and hash browns, which doesn't look too inspiring, but hey, it's free food. I've just seen something which has cheered me up a little bit and I think I know where I'm going to get my breakfast from. Weatherspoons has to be done, doesn't it? Oh, look at that, free refills and all cappuccinos. This is, this is better than a lounge, isn't it? Ooh. Of course, gate 27 is the one the furthest away from the main area of the airport, but we're nearly there. Oh, well, look at that, stepping onto this immaculate, spotless Dreamliner. I have to say, the cabin feels absolutely pristine. It is really clean, it feels very fresh. These seats look pretty damn good for low cost, definitely not the usual low cost that I'm used to. So I've just arrived on the plane and immediately I'm just amazed at how much space there is on these seats. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I was in business when they ushered me into this section of the plane, but it's premium.
Okay, well I've just taken my seat, 12A on this North Atlantic Airways 78 Century Liner. Let me give you my first impressions here in Economy. Economy is set out in a three by three configuration, but it looks spacious, it looks clean, it looks inviting. The seat itself immediately feels really comfy. You can see I've got a nice little headrest that folds either side and you can move it up and down if you want to. The seat itself is well padded, definitely way better than what you would typically associate as low cost. Let's do a quick recline test as well, see how far back we can go. And that is a reasonable recline, nothing special, but if I was gonna have a nap, that would definitely be the better position to be in. And in terms of room, you can see it's certainly not too cramped. I've got a bit of room either side of me, so nice and spacious there. And then out in front of me, Flick open your tray table, that pulls down like that. You can also slide it back and forth. It's not the biggest in the world, but we'll definitely do for a meal, a bit of laptop work later. Now, this is a real bonus on a low cost flight. We have an IFE screen, which as you can see, is a perfectly good size. It is all touch screen and judging by that response, feels, oh, wait for it, pretty, pretty damn quick and responsive. Attached, we also have a aux port for your headphones we have a little hdmi charging socket another feature i absolutely love on the dreamliners is the auto windows so you can see the little button down here all you have to do is press that and your window will start to get darker and darker until eventually it will completely block out most of the light and then in front of you you have a standard pouch to put your things in people always tell me not to put my passport in here but i'm gonna do it anyway and then a very decent amount of leg room underneath. So for an economy seat, that's not bad at all. So I've just sat down in my seat and I'm immediately so excited for this flight just because of how much space I have. Usually premium economy definitely affords you that extra leg room, but this just feels so different. Okay, I'm 5'2", so I'm really short, but this, this just feels crazy. And the seats are wide, nice gray leather, super comfy. There is a leg rest and a very, very generous recline. I mean, who needs business when you've got this? In terms of storage, you have got this little pouch here and of course you can put your bag in that very hefty leg room space. And here we have the in-flight entertainment screen, which just pops out like so. In here we have the tray table, which just comes out of the armrest and yeah it's decent size it's perfect to fit my laptop on and do some good work and very sturdy which is what we like to see here we have the leg rest which you just pull up like so and then the seat recline which you just pull back on the side of the chair we have the in-flight entertainment controls panel We've got two charging ports here, which is perfect if I need to do some work. So this cabin has eight rows, organized in a configuration of 232. I'm sitting at seat 5A right next to the window and I have no one next to me. And to be honest, the flight is only about half full, so I just know this is gonna be a great flight. So a bit of background on Norse. You might remember Norwegian Airlines, which actually did run a low cost service between London and New York. But unfortunately that ended during the pandemic. But now, since 2022, Norse have taken up that route again. They actually leased a number of Norwegian Dreamliners to carry out their low cost international flights and have been going strong for just over a year now. So it's great to have that option back on the market, saving money compared to some of the premium carriers. And so far, it feels like very good value. Well, I'm pleased to say that my pre-ordered meal has just arrived and I've even moved to the middle seat just so I can give you a better view. Now, it's really important to know that with Norse, if you're flying an economy, you have to pre-order a hot meal to guarantee that you get one. There might be things you can buy on board, but just so you don't run the risk of having no hot food on a seven and a half hour flight, it's very important to pre-order. So today, I've opted for this lovely shrimp in tomato sauce, which has also come with some bread, a little chocolate pudding and a complimentary soft drink of Coke Zero. My meal has arrived and I'm really excited because I'm so hungry. So I am gluten free. So they've given me a pearl chicken. I got a little carrot salad, little fruit pot. Oh, and gluten free bread. I'm really happy that they could accommodate to my dietary requirements. So yeah, let's tuck in. So 
So usually for premium economy flights, you do get silverware as your cutlery. But I have to say, I'm a fan of the push for sustainability on Norse. That's lovely. That's really nice. I'm not kidding. That really is quite delicious. Could have maybe done with a couple more prawns. That is a seriously tasty main meal in the Really impressed. Well, I think this is a first for me on long haul flights. I don't have a plumpy pillow. I can't believe it. There's not even any amenities whatsoever. And anything you do want, you have to buy from the little magazine here. So I've gone ahead and I bought a blanket for $6.50. It comes in a proper case of everything so you can keep it, transport it if you want. See if it's any different to your usual economy blanket. It's, it's quite soft, it's quite large. Maybe it's a touch thicker than the regular thing you get in economy, but as I said, I did have to pay for it. And that is a little bit stingy if you ask me, even on a low cost carrier. Okay, well adding to my list of purchases for the day, I've just bought these bad boys for what we dollars. I'll tell you what, all these little add-ons really are starting to add up. I do feel a little bit ripped off. So in terms of amenities, we have a very fluffy pillow. I always see Liam doing the Liam test, so this is the mouse test. Oh, yeah, I'll be sleeping on this flight. Super soft, super comfy, and a lovely fluffy blanket. To be fair, they're not the worst quality headphones in the world, but given you have to pay for them $6, I really think you should remember to bring your own on board. It'll be better quality, you'll save money. It does feel a little bit stingy to charge $6 for that. No pillow at all, but I do have this free row, so I'm gonna try and lie down, see if I get comfy and turn this into a bit of a poor man's business class situation. Literally, I pressed it and I could see the stewardess from up there already open the curtain to come in. I'm, wow. Well done, Norse. Well done. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, wow, finally it happened. That was a pretty slow cool bell challenge from Norse. Well, I'm pleased to say we have just landed in JFK, New York, bang on time. And overall, my first time flying with Norse Atlantic Airways was excellent. The level of comfort and service really felt, you know, on a par with the likes of BA, Virgin, United, you name it. The seats were really comfortable. The food was better than expected as well. My one word of warning is that, you know, the little extras do start to add up. But overall, a brilliant experience and I would definitely fly with Norse again. So I've made it to New York. Honestly, that flight couldn't have gone any better. It was seamless from start to finish. The staff were really efficient and really nice. The food was good and that 12 inch recline seat just enabled me to have a really soft and restful sleep. I'm just honestly so excited to do it all again in a few days when I return back to London. Norse, this is my first time flying with you, but I promise you it won't be my last. I really mean it when I say that. I think I've found my new route from London to New York because that was such good value for money.